Jamaica's football fraternity was plunged into mourning on Friday morning as news emerged of the fatal stabbing of a member of the reggae girls team. Waterhouse captain and national player Terrania Plum Plum Clark was reportedly stabbed during a dispute on Thursday night. Karen Madden reports. If she was going to take her mother out of poverty and then kill me knees. But you kill her up, but you can't kill her. So you say, God, up above well. <laughs> a tree dead me, what up? Tree. My brother did I'm in a ball. My nigga did I'm in a ball and them kidnapped me. This promising bright future we have come help our family then. An aunt captures the emotions as the life of a promising player is cut short. Waterhouse coach Xavier Gilbert, who has been coaching Plum Plum, as she's affectionately called, since her playing days at Excelsior High, reacted to the shocking news. Very sad. Um, the entire community, as she lived just across the road from school. Um, so the entire Mountain View is, is, is morning this morning. And a fantastic individual, a wonderful player, and a wonderful person, and a great leader. Um, one of our best captains we have ever had at this institution. Um, very responsible and always um, put other person's feelings you know, in front of her. Anything to, to ensure that the team does well, she's willing to do that. And the national coaches Hugh Menzies and Lauren Donaldson, who have been working with Clark from the youth level, were also stunned at the news. Ariana um, was such a good kid. Um, she was trying to definitely the future for our program. Um, but it's just so unfortunate, you know, we were just getting to get her out of Jamaica in January and she was going to start her school or college, but we're just a couple months short and we lost a good one. She was coming along nicely as a player and developing as a person. I mean, we really care for the, for the person. She, she was outstanding and I was just looking for big things for her. That was her birthday week. Uh, <laughs> And we were just happy for her, you know, that she has turned the corner and her development and her progress was, you know, steadily rising. You know, whatever happened is just beyond me. Clark hailed from the tough Batbush community in Mountain View, St. Andrew, and her father, Warren Clark, described the family's pain. She was so brilliant. She was one shining star. I went to the stadium and watched her play, and I was so elated, you know. So my daughter playing football for Jamaica. Whoa, Miss Ireland. Oh, the World Football Federation go off and help me on this one. I don't like it. I, I, I can't even explain myself right now, trust me. I'm lost. See, I'm on the line down there, I can't even say a word. She never know that it's me, come look for her, trust me. I'm so lost. Clark featured during the Reggae Girls game against Nottingham Forest and the Pan Am Games and most recently played for the Reggae Girls during last month's Olympic qualifiers where she scored two goals. Karen Madden, TBJ Sports. Meanwhile, Sports Minister Olivia Babsey Grange has expressed a deep sadness at Clark's death, describing her killing as a senseless, wanton act. The Sports Minister hailed Clark as not only a brilliant footballer and leader, but a wonderful individual. She also expressed condolences on behalf of the government to her family, friends and teammates. And the Jamaica Football Federation has also expressed shock and sadness at Clark's killing. An emotional chairman of the JFF Women's Committee, Elaine Walker-Brown, described Clark as one of her daughters. Plum Plum is a lovely girl. She's one of my daughters. I, I feel it for our parents. My heart goes out for them. My heart goes out to the entire female football fraternity. And we have lost a, a, a future ambassador a young lady with great potential. I remember we spoke at, at the hotel when we, they were doing the qualifying for the Olympics and I, I said to Plum Plum, just do what you have to do and seal yourself in this squad. You know, um, a great loss. The 20 year old was scheduled to take up a scholarship at Daytona Junior College in Florida in January.